I think the African community in Ireland really gives the Irish a new perspective on what life is like in Africa. I think that's kind of how I keep Africa alive now. It's sharing it with anyone who's willing to listen. When I think of Africa, I think of stories. In Africa, parents tell their children stories, sitting outside under trees at night or during the day when all the work is done. And that's a huge part of African culture. By telling my friends stories from Africa, I think it helps build a bridge between both cultures and both worlds. A story is something that everyone, everywhere, can share. My farthest back memory of Africa is my grandfather's house in Ojoto, where there was a huge mango tree, and every August he would go out with the mango picking stick and he would hit all the branches in the tree until all the mangoes fell down. And me and all my cousins would run around and pick up all the mangoes. And when everyone came to visit for the harvest party, we would all eat mangoes and be happy. When I think of Africa, I think of games. In my hands, I'm holding a handcrafted wood, showing two men playing a game called Ayolokon. It is the African equivalent of a chess game. Also among the games we play in Africa is a game called Tinko, and it goes like this. I'm currently teaching Lauren how to play the game. Wow, you're doing really well. What I really like about this piece of African art is the ornaments around the two girls in the in the figure. It's a, it's very nice and it just represents how we like to dress up and have all kind of like not exactly like glitz and glamour and all. It's just the jewelry you wear kind of represents where you're from or what kind of person you are, like our hair. It's like my hair took about three hours to make and it's made using attachments and they're plaited into twists by women who have probably been doing this for like God knows how many years and I cannot make plots <laughs> to save my life and yeah. Mine took seven hours. <laughs> Yeah, and it was done by a woman, and yeah, it's just a, a variety of colors. We, we Africans, we love color. <laughs> My friend here is wearing a traditional African dress. The color and the designs are traditional to African culture in the sense that they were a manifestation of the designs that people would paint on themselves. In ancient times, the designs were also used to separate between different types. Um, these dresses are very hard to find and they're usually made specifically for a person. This particular dress I'm wearing was specially made for my parents' wedding and it's really special because it kind of shows off the diversity of Africa, of Africa in terms of color. When I think of Africa, I think of art. This is a traditional African piece of a woman carrying a child on her back with an umbrella. Uh, these are based off the great like bronze and wooden carved sculptures of African art and um, are typically to sold to tourists now. Um, this is really important to me because it appears in a lot of African culture and art and is usually used in decorating houses and buildings and such. This is a um traditional African bead called EVA from Benin, where I come from. It is extremely cold and heavy and you wear this during ceremonial events such as weddings and our uh, Oba in Benin, uh, also known as Igwe in Igbo, wears it whenever it is going to an event. These are some photos of wooden carved lions in my grandfather's house in Nigeria. The lions are carved from wood traditionally and have real lion's teeth in their mouth. And these were really important to him because he was called Aguna Chemba, which means lion in the room in my language. These lions were really important to him and therefore are really important to me. And this kind of art would have been a huge part of African culture. And just like the books behind me, everything in Ireland is immersed in Western culture. And even though it's great, I just wish there was a little more of an African culture here. 
My native um, language is Benin and my friends in Ireland are always wanting me to teach them how to speak Benin. So I'm going to teach Lauren how to say the sun is shining. Over you. Over you. So Lauren, Nife, Are, Bukwaju. Lauren, Lauren, Nife, Nife, Are, Are, Bukbo, Bukbo, Ju, Ju. That means Lauren is a superstar. Ireland is our home now, but our roots will always be in Africa and its diverse culture. Odabo. Odabo. When I think of Africa, I think of <laughs> When I think of Africa, I think of games. In my hands, I'm holding a hand <laughs> Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? <laughs>